All right, welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls. So glad to have you with us today. And uh, it's been a while since I put out the last episode because I have two episodes worth of material that are, uh, I'm ashamed to say, messed up. <laughs> I messed some settings up um, when Windows reset things and didn't realize um, the sound wasn't catching on a lot of that. And... Uh, so, I'm sorry, but we can't show you a lot. I'm going to try to see if I can get a little um, section in the middle to show you what we did. We got our space station built and launched and up in space. And it's an awesome th thing. Not the best looking thing, but, you know, I'm pretty proud of myself. We did a lot uh, on the stream uh, the last couple of, uh, I guess the last week, uh, a week and a half since the last video. So uh, you can kind of go back on Twitch and see some of that. that. But uh, we've had, we did have a major episode. We were um, launching space state or satellites and and doing all the things and stuff, so we can get geared up to go to another solar system. So psyched about that. And uh, there's a bug with the satellite builder uh, in, in an advanced. Um, what is it? The the the. the, the space stuff <laughs> uh, there rocketry that's what it is um, and it deleted my entire inventory and unfortunately other people were on and uh, I just it wouldn't have been right for me to roll the server back just for that so I've been trying to replace some things I did have an emergency backup um, in case that happened on a couple of my items like my pick I had an older version just on a whim one day I went down into my basement I said you know what I'm gonna go in creative place these things in the item frames and uh, just in case something uh, like a bug erased my items so I've had that happen before and uh, they're they're older levels but uh, it worked so that's where we're at so today's projects I've got some things that we want to do in spawn um, and as well and part of that actually I should explain involves immersive engineering now let me show you what I want to do here hopefully the children in the background aren't too loud for you um, immersive engineering has got this asphalt and I want to build the, or make this but we need this bit of bit of bit of bit yeah bit uh, which is a byproduct of oil production it's a real-life thing um, but here's the issue I need a lot of it well not a ton but I, I need a good chunk because we want to do our streets in this and I need the byproducts of oil anyway so we're gonna do some oil production and uh, also just do some server uh, um, goodness I just built and again I just did it and went to do, check my sound in, and you couldn't hear hard to hear me at all um, I made one of these charge porters and what it is, is you can shift click it on any of, let's see, let's go back over here, on any of the these uh, matter receivers from RF tools. And then, I mean, if you hold shift and click, you can see everything you've, you've clicked it on. And it's, so those are the three receivers we clicked on. We're going to put one in spawn, one over in Y space, and, uh, uh, and such. We also did this. I'm, I need. I lost my sword, so I made this and enchanted the living daylights out of it. We did that on stream, and I just made these for myself and my wife. Uh, this is made like this. It's made like this, and then you can empower them. All right, here's the bow that I made for my wife, and. Uh, there we go. <laughs> I may have overpowered it just a little bit. So we put multi shot, unbreaking three, and power five on it. Um, she should be safe. <laughs> We're going to put all the stuff that we made for her in a strong box. Let's charge them real quick. There we go. Oh, and this. 
I caught it. I had one more skeleton horse wandering around the space base back there, so we uh, caught it for my wife. So we're gonna set up this oil tower, and uh, it was like this. We're gonna set this up, and then some pumps in a couple different places, and uh, start getting the bit bit of them going. Okay, it's been a little bit, and we're back. Just want to explain a couple of things that have happened. Number one, I decided to kind of play around with the texture packs. So this is uh, Sortex, and uh, it used to be my all-time favorite. I thought, well, let's give this a shot. I haven't used a texture pack in forever. Second thing is we're a few days later, and I've streamed a couple times, or at least once, and some of my sound quality of the video I planned on being part of this video, um, my daughter was playing right beside me and my one year old was behind me and that's about all you can hear is them <laughs> so I'm going to show you a little bit around I uh, was going to do a time lapse and show you all the, the progress we made between last episode and this episode uh, I can't remember if I mentioned already but I had about two episodes worth of stuff all messed up with the sound and I think where, what? how? Ow. I'll have to come back and fix that. Um, anyway, so everything's different. Kind of digging the way this looks. See how it affects the the if it affects my uh, ability to play or not. Let me know how it looks uh, on things. But let's go ahead and show you what we. Eh, I'm not a big fan of how these look now. But oh well. Maybe I need to... No, we'll worry about that later. Uh, there we go. Alright. Let's uh, throw some stuff away here. So, as you noticed a second ago... I guess I should have showed you, told you that. I got this plant built on stream. And uh, this is our distillation tower. As you can see, it's doing its thing. It's pumping in... Fluids are pumping out about as fast as they're coming in right now. I've got three pumps out in the desert we set up. And by the way, I have the worst luck I've ever had finding oil. Literally like 30 to 40 times of setting it down to find three spots of oil. So, uh, yeah. <laughs> I checked 30 to 40 chunks to find three with some oil. So this should be, yeah, that's pretty much empty. Because this is taking full buckets, so what it's doing, this is dumping into here, and throwing it into there. And all that is going into here. Go down one level. And getting refined into gasoline, diesel, lubricant. All from immersive engineering. The main reason I did all that is because... Just me or this terminal looks smaller this way. It is for the bit of 20. Wow. Okay, I think we've got plenty. I think I threw some sand in. Yep. Funny, we keep running out of sand, of all things. Um, I need to set up some kind of auto sand deal. Uh, let's see, what else do we need? There. Let it make all the asphalt, and I'll show you what we use that for. Now, what I was talking about when we left off is uh, we went over to Wifey's base. Let's see. I got that to spawn. Let's do... I'll show you what we did over there. All right, Wifey's been busy. Let's see how her place looks. Not bad, not bad. Uh, I would say it actually looks better in vanilla than it does in this texture pack, though. That's a shame. Uh, we set up a teleportation system over here. She's been going gangbusters with all the peacocks. I wonder what we... What do you use these feathers for? 
Looking cool. So. Nothing. Too impressive, is it? Nope. Well. Anyway. And this is Pinky's spot. Okay, I see. She's got the two types of peacocks separated now. Oh, she's got glass on the roof now. I didn't realize that. Okay, well. Okay. And we, we did find there was a giant set of bones out uh, somewhere around here for Yoshi. And we used the um, RF tools to move those bones for him. Now let's go ahead and go to spawn. And uh we'll leave that there. We'll just do this to spawn. Ow. Oh. Where will we drop to there? Anyway. So we've got we set oh by the way, I set up a wired charger for my wife over there. We put a dialing device here. One of the reasons we're coming to spawn is to show you that's what the asphalt is that we're we're setting up. As you can see, we, we're start, I've got some streets starting to get some streets set up so everybody can set stores up. Yoshi's working on this. He's got uh, plans for all this. And the other thing, we set up this for our work while we're working here at Spawn. And I wanted to come... Oh. Uh-oh. Houston, we may have a problem. I thought I left my little... Is it in here? Interesting. We may have lost our... Uh... Hmm. Our de deal there. Wait a minute. Okay. Here's a problem with the pack. It's not registering everything. Okay. So we're definitely going to have to change that. And I can also hear my hard drive just going nuts right now. So, uh... That's the same. Now the rivers look awesome. Awesome. But anyway, that's our plan for this. Um, let's go back to our base and we'll show you, uh, go and show you all of our space stuff. Well, you know, we can probably do that here. Um, let's change this from spawn space center. When we left off, I just had about half these machines in place. We built a building and everything. We've got automation set up. Got all these patterns in there in. So, and I chunk loaded this because it's all tied to our AE system, creating all kinds of fuel and all kinds of oxygen and nitrogen. It's doing its thing. So yeah, we're 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 pretty good there. Um th be warned, that is the block. I destroyed my entire inventory. Okay, just warning you. So what I do now is anytime we're going to do these, I uh, put all my items in that chest. And then just put the one thing I want to use, like one of these in, and uh, do individual things. A couple of things we've got going. This, if you get in that light, will incinerate you. 600 RF a tick. It is creating. There's a satellite up in space beaming down power. Sunlight. Watch this. I didn't do it. Use it. Lights you on fire instantly. Maybe some server issues there. Uh, here are our launch pads. Now what we did, the reason this whole thing is, is mined out. That gives you an idea of the size of our space station that we are setting up. The thing is big enough that it, it, I had to send like one, let's say I had 
one, two, three, and then clear over there are four sections to sit up, and the wings were two sections a piece. So we packed all those in, in uh, we scanned those with the station builder uh, sections, and then packed them up and sent them up in rockets up to, and attached them to the space station. It's all in place now. So let's go back here. Get our space gear on. Uh, this should work. Now, I'm sorry for not having all that. I, again, I could have sped, done a speed up of showing it all, but I just really couldn't find it. Like the time lapse really wasn't going to show it well. That rush is air. Now, down here, it'll hurt if we take our. Because I don't have these air um, oxygen vents turned on producing. Okay. But there's our warp core. That's our warp drive. Pretty cool, huh? And uh, that's where you load the fuel. Out this door here. Oh, yeah. We don't want to do that. <laughs> I'll show you here in a few minutes. Um, you can't see anything. Those are the wings. And basically, once we get enough resources, we're going to put um, drone gantries scanners and bays in here to shoot our drones out the front is what I'm hoping to do um, with trickery of builders and such it gives you an idea of the view back there a little bit there and we've got our, our, our space station tilted a little bit so it's kind of spinning a bit uh, funny now this floor you can breathe on this floor a little noisy but uh, there's plenty of air. And apparently Sortex didn't like some of the textures or something. Now this looks... I like... Oh, man. Now that looks good. Those textures are fantastic. Really like that. And here's where it all happens. This is the bridge. Can you render? Yep. And we've been scanning for new galaxies. We found new galaxies. Um, I don't know if we'll try that on this episode or not. We'll see how long we are. Uh, at least the next episode. Um, we, we're going to put... Um, let's put our helmet back on. And I'll show you the view from outside. Oh. I guess I need to show you what these three doors are. Airlock. This is our rocket. A little oversized, but you know, does the job. And uh, there's our world. I brought us in a little close, I would say. Ooh, that's uh, yeah. It's not the prettiest thing, but it's a thing. The best thing is it looks great there. <laughs> if only it looked that good here. <laughs> anyway, so that's our ship. One thing I did want to do is I'm going to try a couple things like the orientation. Alright, now as you can, if we were to go out here, I adjusted that. Spinning us around. Sweet, huh? So I'm playing with that a little bit till we get the right angle. And then, altitude.
this is all messed up because we were not that close before. So now you can see, slowly, our perspective is changing. We're floating out and we're still spinning. Pretty sweet, huh? So I'm gonna keep messing with this from now every now and then. And uh, see where that puts us, because everything's different. It's uh, changed a little bit since. Ooh, we have oxygen up here still. We do, because this tank is empty. Where I was concerned. The carbon scrubbers make uh, your oxygen last longer. All right, we'll uh, probably gonna run home and uh, continue. From there. One last little bit of th stuff I want to show you before we wrap this short episode up and this re basically recap is they've made a change. We're running the latest edition of Igmatica 2 and they've made some changes. Check this out. This was producing 25,000 RF a tick. It's now doing 60,000 RF a tick. That meant, means between the two of these, oh, look at the moon. That's sweet. Uh, they're doing 120,000 R of a tick, and uh, it's been running that way for a couple of days, and then I just, oops, going the wrong way, oh, I don't make it dizzy, <sighs> missed, <laughs> are you ready, I'm stoked about this, <laughs> stoked enough I keep falling off, we're full, do, do you, do you understand, a trillion RF. For me, it's a huge number. I mean, that's massive. Can you imagine a trillion RF all in here? Let's make it better. Because, <laughs> you know, we can. So let's do this. I just logged back in, so it's a little glitchy. Okay, now. I just made one of these. Let's go ahead and see if we got enough to make another. Got everything. We're in place. There we go. Start. Now before we... Let's see how we're doing here. 450, is that what they said of these? That's crazy. Can we see it being made? Don't think we can. Most of those are covered. Of course. None of the ones we're actually using are exposed. It's one of the reasons I set up... Oh, this one is. Look at that. Sweet. One of the reasons I made this one this way... I could have done it differently, but I wanted to see the things crafted in it. It's done. Awesome. Alright. Come on up here. Break things. That should have made a sound. Okay. Induction. Provider. We probably need to look at updating a couple of those. As far as I know, it doesn't matter how you place things in here. As long as they're in there. Boom. Formed. 1.43. <laughs> Let's see how long. Uh, it's Sunday afternoon. Let's see how long it takes to get us at, at uh, 40 trillion RF added. That is so sweet. But I think for the sake of time today, we're going to go ahead and wrap things up here. On the next episode, I'm going to try to record it today and uh, probably 
maybe try either tonight or Monday try to get it airing like Monday or Tuesday depending when I can get it recorded and we will go to a new solar system or blow our ship up one or the other appreciate you watching come back again see you later and uh, sorry this episode so, so short but it just felt like I needed to um, kind of catch up and uh, recap what's taking place for the video I lost and let you know come t check us out on Twitch on Tuesday nights and most Tuesdays Thursdays some Fridays Saturdays and Mondays so uh, take care we'll see you later bye